My life before college was nothing like my life in college. My dad was diagnosed with a progressive illness six months before I was born and had to stop working. I grew up in a very conservative, Coptic Orthodox community. My dad came from Egypt. I think one of my biggest driving factors is the fact that my dad reminds us constantly of the advantages that we have here in the States, especially after his life in Egypt, seeing the Christian persecution and seeing people who suffer injustice because of their religion. I grew up in Chicago, specifically in Pilsen. It's kind of a dangerous neighborhood, but the block that I lived on was relatively safe. My mom is the head of our household. She is the greatest woman that I will probably ever meet. My mom and my dad had a rule. As kids, we were never allowed to quit anything. I think I am able to get through really tough experiences and able to persevere through things because my parents instilled in me in such a young age that you shouldn't quit things just because they are hard. I was really lucky because I think in the time I had with him, I had more of a relationship than some people ever have with a parent. When he passed away when I was a sophomore in high school, no one can ever get over losing the closest person to them in their life. So attending WashU has definitely made me a stronger person. Coming from a first generation low income background, students like me don't get the chance to be at places like this. The biggest deciding factor was seeing how much drive and passion people here had and seeing the, the challenging atmosphere and environment. So for the first two and a half years, my life was pre-med. My main focus was just those classes and they were very hard for me. I would definitely not sugarcoat that. But it was a really good learning experience because I've never been pushed intellectually in that way. I think for me personally, WashU stands out because of where it is situated in America. So before I came to WashU as a freshman, Ferguson happened. And ever since then, St. Louis has been a catalyst for social justice change. And in that context, I think WashU has done a good job evolving and producing students and organizations that really want to combat these problems and make a change for the future. I'm in the hip hop company here, WashU Hip Hop Union. Hip hop is like a huge part of my life and it has been for as long as I can remember. It's how I get out my stress and it's just my favorite thing to do. One of my biggest priorities on campus is City Faces. City Faces is a youth engagement program that operates in Clinton Peabody public housing that services under-resourced kids who live there. That community really solidified my commitment to St. Louis and to civic engagement. I had always wanted to go to Israel, but it never really was an opportunity for me growing up to travel. I went to Israel for Save a Child's Heart. They bring kids from different countries in the Middle East and in Africa to Israel to get life-saving heart surgery for congenital defects. I'm a student advisor, and what I do is making sure that the first-year students understand that there is no clear-cut way to graduate. So talking to them about courses that could potentially be interesting for them, I guide them through some problems. So just being that person for first-year students especially is a great experience. Through Globe Med, I got to go to Uganda, and that was probably the most formative experience I've had, not only in college, but probably throughout my life. The program that I worked in was the Youth Resource Center, which does school outreach and training for students on sexual and reproductive health. Going to Uganda really solidified my position as a global citizen. Another job that I had while I was a student at WashU was with my Orthodox community. And with them, we do homeless outreach and do a bunch of different programs with underprivileged communities and poverty, and it was definitely very eye-opening. Once I started thinking about college and making a decision, it ultimately did come down to financial aid. And I think that scholarship definitely allowed me to not worry about other outside factors like books. And instead, I thought about where am I going to be able to see myself succeed. For me, the scholarship meant that I could go and fully immerse myself here without feeling like I was putting pressure on my mom. My mom worked as a special ed teacher, and then she worked overtime as a tutor every day of the week. And so I was always very aware of what you have to do to make money and how realistic we had to be. I definitely appreciate the scholarship in that it lets me take on more experiences that might not be as financially fruitful as others, but it definitely allows me to expand and do things for the benefit of learning. 
I want to say thank you to my sponsor for giving me the scholarship. It's been one of the biggest influences in terms of how I've been able to experience Wash U and really commit to being here. I hope they know that they're really affecting people's lives in a huge way. I am a big proponent of the idea that actions speak louder than words. And I would just like to say to my sponsor that your actions are really important and I can see that you are doing the most that you can do to help students like me be able to come to college and really capitalize on the experiences here and make our actions louder than our words. It wouldn't have been an easy of a choice for me to come to this great university if not for the scholarship. So thank you and I just want to express my gratitude to you. You gave me the opportunity to be somewhere that I never would have seen myself had it not been for scholarship. I have been able to really just chase my dreams and I definitely would not be here if it wasn't for you. I can't say thank you enough. I can just be here and just really thrive and I hope one day I can do what you do and give back and help someone like me so that way I can make someone else's dreams come true.